We were dispatched out and on our way there, we could tell by the tone of the dispatcher's voice that she had multiple calls, that she was relaying to us that there were people trapped. We were listening to radio, seeing, trying to listen what had happened. And his dad had heard that the school was hit nearby, like less than a mile. And he pretty much told us to get gloves and jump in the truck. The elementary school looked like it had just fallen from the outside in. Everything was, everything was collapsed inward. These animals can have a second chance at life. Doesn't matter if they're 15, 19, 22, even three. It doesn't matter, their lives can change forever. We're a company that can help them restore their homes back to a pre-loss condition and doing it with compassion and kind of guiding our homeowners and our clients in the right way to do it. Well, when I first heard the news that Jose wanted to donate a playground to our school, I was so emotional, I just started to cry, as well as the entire office staff. I publicly announced being a survivor of domestic violence December 3rd, 2011, which was about one month after getting a restraining order on my ex-boyfriend. I think they're both driven by caring about the patient and the love of what they do, their medical practice. I like to cover stories like this because there is a human side to this story that is very compelling. These are people with stories, with backgrounds, with interesting lives that have led them to this point and they have been dismissed by many. There was this white car floating down the canal with um, two girls hanging out the side screaming, help, we can't swim. And so my decision was, okay, this, this, this has to happen, I jump in. I think he just had it in him to be, to help other people. From something as small as donating blood, you know, to um, just helping somebody in need. In that situation, you're there for them, and you're all they have at that point, so you gotta do what you can do to get them out of there. I'm happy to pay back to society uh, because I feel as a physician, I've been very fortunate in my life. Jose is a real hero because he has inspired everyone to do the same as what he did and give back. Well, I don't consider myself a hero. I consider being in the right place at the right time and, and actually doing what human beings should do. I want to connect with that other person that may have walked in my shoes or are still walking in my shoes and I want them to know that they're not alone. Fighting fires like the one at the Heritage Hotel uh, is the reason we're all doing what we're doing. We do, we all want to help people. That's, that's why uh, we signed up for this. Any one of us would do it again in a heartbeat. I don't think Carla's a hero. I think she's an angel. Um, she will change your life no matter what you think. She will. I think people need to realize that they're capable of a lot more than they think they are and that even just showing up to something like a natural disaster or a conflict where people are needed, just you showing up shows, reflects your character as a person.